section so you can get the rafters on this side of his head. Just get him around this way. You can see the, him around like the rafters tail. And then he pulls the rafter. He steps back. He pulls the rafter around the inside. Can you bring the maquette in? You put your head like right about here. That's how big the head would be. Down there. And then from there he, he and, and it, hurls it. And then he would take a step back. He'd be wiping like this. Right over camera. Like that, yeah. Right. Okay, and then the roar, and then we go up to the sign. Nice to make a small adjustment off him. I think we should... It seems like an incredible idea to think of living, breathing dinosaurs. It's the kind of idea that you think is going to be locked in the realms of science fiction forever. But about 12 years ago, I began to realize that it might indeed be possible to bring extinct animals back to life. I remember in the early 80s walking um, on the beach with Marvin Minsky, who was at the AI lab at MIT, and saying in this very tentative way, um, you know, I'm thinking about doing a story about a genetically engineered dinosaur and waiting to see if he would make fun of me. And he said, oh, well, yeah, I could probably be done one day, which I found very encouraging. You know, we talked to T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm-hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. There is such a reality to it that that's why I got really interested in this, because I said, God, science and adventure mm-hmm. has come smashing together, and okay, now it's, it's based on what is probably going to happen yeah. someday. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. We, we, we take a moral argument, we take a position of a, of a great, you know, moral argument that this should never have really happened. Uh, and Hammond brings up the point that if he had recreated genetically a whole flock of condors, a current endangered species, nobody would be throwing up their hands and right. making such a fuss. And first we're going to say action, so action. 